In this tutorial, we are going to show you how you can create your own AI assistant for indexing by using our OpenAPI schema as an action within a custom GPT. So you have your own AI assistant that you can just tell index these URLs and it's going to automatically submit them to Rapid URL Indexer. You can use this as part of workflows or just to easily access the indexing from within the ChatGPT app. So the first step is to go to ChatGPT, to the GPT section, create a new GPT, click the Configure tab, give your custom GPT a name. We are just going to call this Indexer. Then the instructions should just broadly describe what the purpose of the GPT is so that the AI has more specific instructions on what to do. Then you can enable or disable capabilities depending on what you need. You can disable most of them. And now the next step is to create a new action. Now for this action, we are going to need OpenAPI Schema. You can get this on rapidurlindexer.com. Just scroll down to the footer navigation, click on API Reference, and again scroll down to the bottom. And right there you will find our OpenAPI Schema. Just select all of the code and copy and paste it in here. Then what you also have to do is configure the authentication. You will need to click this little gear icon, then select API key. Paste your rapid URL indexer API key here that you can get on the My Projects page. Then select Custom for Auth Type. Type actually exactly the placeholder, X-API key, and then hit Save. Now this is already all you have to do to get the GPT ready to be able to submit URLs for indexing. You can test this now by typing something like what's my credits balance. You have to click allow or ideally always allow. And now you can see how many credits you have remaining. It's calling the rapid URL indexer API in the background. And now you can of course also submit URLs for indexing. Let's just go to our Twitter. Then I'm going to just select this tweet. I want to get this one indexed. Then I'm asking it to index this URL. Confirm. And it has submitted this URL for indexing and tells you the project ID. And now you could publish your GPT. You can also extend the instructions depending on what you want to do with this. And then access it in order to use it to index URLs within ChatGPT or as part of AI workflows.